Nathaniel, welcome to West Bromwich Albion. Tell us a little bit about when you first heard of our interest and how the move came about. Um, thanks for welcoming me, obviously, first of all. Um, it's been it's been in the pipeline for a while now and uh, for certain reasons that I can't really say um, it's dragged on a little bit, but I'm happy to be here. How much have you seen of us over the last few months and, and our resurgence up the table? Yeah, I mean, since hearing, hearing uh, of the interest and, and stuff like that, I started following a lot more the club and watching a lot more of the games. So, yeah, it's been been pretty good so far. Yeah, our upturn in fortune has uh, coincided with Carlos Corbran arriving at the football club. Have you had a chance to speak to the manager yet? Yeah, I've spoken to the manager and um, I've seen seen uh, his work as well. Um, played against him when he was at Huddersfield last year and, and um, they're a very good side. So I kind of know what, what he's about and, you know, having, that, having had that conversation with him um, before coming here, I think my mind was made up pretty quickly. Yeah, he's full of passion, enthusiasm, he loves the game and if you speak to the other lads as well, they'll tell you that he's got a great eye for detail tactically. Is that something that you're going to thrive off as a player, having a manager like that? Yeah, of course. I think the most important thing as a player is always having that, that mentality of a blank canvas with whoever you're working with and and I think that's something that kind of drew me to this manager. It's, it's more about still educating and still growing as a player um, regardless of your age or regardless of however many games you've played so I think for me that was that was something that that really drew me like I said and you know his intensity his passion is something that I I got straight away from having conversations with him so yeah I'm looking forward to it. I can imagine it's been a, a frustrating couple of years for yourself you've not really played as much as you would have wanted to so how important is this move for you in terms of getting back to regular football? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a good point you made there, but at the end of the day, there's there's a, a lot of things that go on in football and, and uh, I think, you know, with, with certain things like injuries and things like that, sometimes it, you know, it plays a part and, and I think for me really it's about having that mentality of always staying strong and and being prepared to, to give the best wherever I am, whenever I'm, I've, I've been given an opportunity to play on the pitch and... Um, that's my main focus here. I mean, there's an objective that we want to reach as a as a club and it's something that I've definitely bought into and I, I want to do the best that I can whenever I've got the shirt on. How would you describe yourself as a player? Uh, I always get asked this question and it's quite tough, but um, I don't really like speaking about myself, but um, I just leave it out there and, and try and see what everyone else thinks. I'll, I'll ask you the same thing in a few months. Okay, fair enough. Um, you seem to be a lucky charm when it comes to promotion. You've won promotion with the last two teams you've been with, Watford and then with Fulham. Are you joining a club that you believe has the the credentials to challenge for promotion this year and get promoted to the Premier League? 100%. 100%. And I think that's that's um, that kind of helped me make my decision as well in terms of I can see the potential of the way things are going and, and, um, and I see the group of players and... I just, you know, I just want to play a part and I just want to be able to do whatever I can to help the club. You're probably the perfect man to ask, given your experience in this division and the, the previous promotions that you've won. What's needed to be successful in the Championship, Nathaniel? I mean, every week in the Championship is a completely different week. Um, see, I don't mean to sound cl cliche or anything, but when you're playing against different oppositions, what you face one week could be something completely different. I mean, it's completely different to the Premier League anyway, but... I just think you need a lot of hard work. You need everyone to be on the same page and you need momentum. I think it's probably the the biggest thing that I've learned in the years of playing in the Championship and, of course, obviously getting promoted last year and, and doing it the year before with Watford. Momentum is key and once you've got that going, it's important to keep at that and, and I think that's something that can help drive us over the line if if we start getting results.